What is up, people? BP here, and I hope you like my shirt, which I have on today. It is none other than Yogi Bear. So come visit Jellystone National Park sometime when you get a chance. This is my absolute favorite shirt because I'm going to be reading my absolute favorite book today, which is Martyr's Mirror. Yes, I know. I've read many stories like this one in previous videos. If you haven't seen them, please go back on my channel. Scroll and browse because it is a glorious uh, bit of information that you can educate yourself on history because if you're a history buff like myself, which I'm not really technically an actual history buff, but I like to think that I am, then you will definitely enjoy these stories of Christians from the past. Even if you are not a Christian, if maybe you're Muslim or an atheist, I don't care which, you can at, at least appreciate the fact that history has written itself somehow, and we have these amazing stories like this one here, which is, uh, I think his name is Dirk Willems. He was uh, captured and burned at the stake, even though this guy right here that he saved from the freezing water did not want him to be burned to death, even though he was, he was chasing this Christian. He was chasing him to put him in jail so they could burn him at the stake. And as he's in hot pursuit of this Christian here, Dirk, he fell into the ice-cold water, and as he's drowning, yelled for help, and as he was supposed to flee and get away, he turned around and saved his life, knowing he was going to be burned at the stake as a result. Because why? Well, the authorities were right behind him in hot pursuit. So this guy right here was like, no, 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 don't take him. He saved my life. They were like, too bad, so sad. It's his day in court, and we're going to see to that. And he was burned at the stake because he, had dis he disagreed with major topics like infant baptism and others. And he held strongly to the principles of the Bible and said, I believe this book above man's authority. I don't care what philosophies you guys teach, whether it's evolution or not, even though they didn't have that theory back then. They did have similar ridiculous philosophies and beliefs back then. And as you all know, atheism has been around for ages. So he rejected all of that and embraced the Christian religion. So today we're going to be reading about the Apostle John. That's right, the original, one of the original 12 disciples of Jesus and how he was, he was banished to an island. And from there he wrote the book of Revelation. All of that is contained in this book right here. Certain stories that we were not aware of, uh, people that were written of in the scriptures, it's fulfilled in this book. Like certain people like the Apostle Paul, the Apostle John, Apostle Matthew, and so on, all the original disciples, their lives are detailed in this book right here. Because why? It was public record back in the day. You see, Thelman Javen brought, he actually had access to libraries and public databases. Uh, I don't know what you would call them for back then, but basically public records. When people were put to death, it was all recorded. It was all written down, the words they would say, and it all matched, believe it or not, it all matched what the words that they say in the scripture that they quoted that they had back then in those days matches exactly with the King James Version. Because this book right here was not written in English. It was actually written, I believe, in Dutch or German. I can't remember. But they translated that this book into English, and when they did that, the scriptures that they were quoting, that the Christians were quoting, it matches perfectly with the King James Bible. No other Bible version out there is as accurate as the King James Bible. So if you have a Bible, you can trust it because, my friend, history confirms its legitimacy and accuracy. So today we're going to be reading about St. John, the apostle, and how he was banished, I believe, to the Isle of Patmos. And from there, he wrote the book of Revelation. But uh, his, his story is a miraculous one because I believe he survived a, a horrific event. But we're going to find out more because we're going to read this story together. I hope you enjoy it. And we're going to read many more stories just like it coming up. And if you haven't already, go look through my channel and see what other videos I have 
from this book. It's amazing. Trust me. You're going to enjoy it. And it's just like Martyrs, or excuse me, it's just like Fox's Book of Martyrs, only it's better because it's so big. It's huge. Okay, this is my favorite book. We're going to read it. Um, and like I said, it's my favorite book next to the Bible. So if you get, if you need a copy, man, go get one or just call me or send me a, a comment something. I will get you a copy, all right? Enjoy this. All right, guys. John, the Holy Evangelist, Banished to the Isle of Patmos, by Emperor Domitian, A.D. 97. John, the Apostle and Evangelist, was a son of Zebedee, and brother of James the Greater, he was born at Nazareth, and by occupation was a fisherman. Matt, for 21. He was called by Christ, when engaged with his father and brother in mending their nets for fishing. Verse 22. As soon as he heard the words of Christ, he immediately left the nets, the ship, and his father, and, together with James, his beloved brother, followed Christ. Chrysost. Homil. 1. In Jo. Afterwards he became from a disciple an apostle of Christ, and was numbered with the twelve whom the Lord had specially chosen for his service. Matt, Hours Minutes 10 2. He was greatly beloved by the Lord, so that at the supper he reclined on Christ's bosom, and leaned, or rested, on his breast. John 13 23, 21 20. The Lord, moreover, had accepted him as one of his three most special friends, to bear testimony of his works, not only in his conflict and suffering in the garden of Gethsemane, but also in his glory, in the raising of the daughter of Jairus as well as in the showing forth of his majesty, when, on the holy mount, his face shone as the sun, and his raiment became white as the light. Matt, 26 36, Luke 8 51, Matt, 17 4. From an inward love, he followed the Lord not only into the house of the priest Caiaphas, but also to Mount Calvary, without the city of Jerusalem, where the Lord was put to death. There the Lord, hanging on the cross, addressed him, saying, Son, behold thy mother. John 19:27. He was so eager after the resurrection of Christ, that in running to his grave with his fellow apostle Peter, he outran the latter, thus showing his affection for his Lord, who had died an ignominious death, and was entirely forsaken by his other friends. John Hours Minutes 24. Some years afterwards, in order to refute the errors of Ebion and Serinthus, who denied the divinity of Christ, he wrote his gospel, to the honour and magnifying of his Saviour, commencing thus, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. And the Word was made flesh, etc., John 1 colon 1 14. In these words he gives us to understand the true incarnation of the Son of God, to whom be praise and glory forever. Amen. John is called throughout the Gospel the Beloved of the Lord, or the Disciple, whom Jesus loved, because the Lord so especially loved him John 13 23, hours minutes 22, 21 20. But since it is the will of God to bring his children to glory through much tribulation and distress, this beloved friend of God, John, also could not escape, but was tried throughout his life, with manifold tribulations, according to what the Lord had told him and his brother James, ye shall indeed drink of the cup that I drink of, and with the baptism that I am baptized with all shall ye be baptized, that is, ye shall also be subjected to my suffering and distress. Mark 10 39. This was afterwards fulfilled in him in manifold ways, for, besides what ancient writers have recorded concerning it, namely, that at Rome he was put into a vat full of boiling oil, but was miraculously delivered out of it, the merits of which account we leave unquestioned, this much, according to the scriptures, is certain, namely that he spent a long time on the desert island of Patmos, whither he had been banished, for the testimony of Jesus Christ. Concerning this, John himself makes this declaration, Revelation hours minutes 1-9, I, John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation, and in the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was in the Isle Patmos, for the word of God, and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. But by whom, and in what manner he was banished to that desert island, is not stated in the scriptures, except that he was in tribulation for the word of God. 
Some of the ancient writers, however, state that he was banished by Emperor Domitian, about A.D. 97, who, in his wrath dot and displeasure, because he preached the word of God, and confessed Christ as the Son of God, had him sentenced and banished thither. On this island, which lies in the Mediterranean, between Asia Minor and Greece, 100 and page 97. 25 miles northwestward of Jerusalem, he was indeed forsaken of men, and had scarcely any companionship, aside from poisonous and noxious animals, which dwelt in the place, nevertheless, the Lord God dwelt with him with his heavenly consolation, and during his banishment presented and revealed to him, very beautiful scenes and glorious visions concerning the condition of the church of God to the end of the world. How he wrote his Apocalypse or Revelation, an excellent book, full of divine and truthful prophecies, taken from the preceding visions and heavenly sights, some of which are already fulfilled, and others remain to be fulfilled. As the time of his deliverance began to draw nigh, the Lord spoke to him on this island, saying, Behold, I come quickly, Amen. Whereupon John replied with a well-comforted soul, Even so come, Lord Jesus. Revelation 22:20. When the Emperor Domitian, who had banished him to the aforesaid island, was dead, and Nerva reigned in his stead, he was delivered and brought back to Ephesus, where he had previously been bishop of the church. This occurred, according to history, about A.D. 99, consequently, his confinement there lasted two years. The ancients write that he suffered much yet for the name of Christ, and was compelled to drink poison, yet remained unharmed, according to the promise of Christ, and that he finally died in peace at Ephesus, in the time of the Emperor Trajan, having served in the Holy Gospel for fifty-one years, and being eighty years old, and thus this great light rests in Asia. Joe. G.Y.S. Hist Mart, Fall 14, Colonel 2, from Euseb. Hist E.C.C.L. and Epiphanio, Joe. G.Y.S. Ibidem. From Euseb, Lib 3, Cap. 20, 23, Nisif, Lib 3, Cap. 4, Iron, Lib 3, Cap. 3, also, Const Neil, in the life of John. Also, Bibles NCPMBCPCK, Letter J, on the name John, Fall 538, Colonel 2, and Fall 539, Colonel 1, 2, also, Fall 540, Colonel 1.